Hey guys, I just wanted to, uh, before this commentary starts, that I did, that basically I sat down and just kind of talked about quick scoping and uh, just let it go, and then I'm just going to film some gameplay behind it, so I don't know exactly what's going to be on the screen. Uh, but I just want to let you guys know, not to take everything I say to heart, that's just all my opinion, it's just how I feel, that isn't something I don't believe, everybody should just, you know, believe what I believe, it's just how I feel about it, and that, not to take everything I say, you know, like I said, to the heart, or to take anything s totally, totally serious, like this is my opinion, but I don't, I'm not saying, you know, follow my opinion or die or anything like that, it's just how I feel about it, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, also, I'm sorry the gameplay isn't the best, this, uh, first game's actually really good, it's like a 17-1 and one or something, while my team, I think it's down by, like, two rounds now, it, we end up making a comeback, it's really good, and, uh, I definitely was because I carried the team, um, so that's cool, but the other gameplay isn't gonna be too good. It's like a 30 and like 11 or something. It's pretty, pretty decent, pretty average, I should say, not decent. Um, it's just like I, I'm tired of playing Black Ops. Like I can't stand this game. I'm not good at it at all. I don't have fun playing it, so I'm not good at it either because I don't really strive to do better because I'm just tired of playing the game. My Warfare 2, I had a lot of fun, so I strive to do better, and I got pretty good at the game, and I could get pretty good gameplays all the time. Even um, a little bit of the gameplay I've put up on my channel. Uh, before of Modern Warfare 2, I could get pretty good gameplays, but I don't like playing it anymore because uh, it's just the same way. It's just I don't have fun. It's just noob tubes and commando anymore, and nothing but quick scoping, which gets tiring after a while. As much as I like quick scoping, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy the commentary. It's a much more on serious tone, so uh, if it's not your style, then just click away. Um, this is probably gonna be maybe two videos. Get turned on, son. I'm lying. I, I actually see the gameplay right now, but for the regular commentary, I didn't have a gameplay behind it to see. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy the commentary. And uh, thank you for listening. Bye-bye. What is up, guys? My name is David or Dragon, and, um, you know, life throws curveballs left and right all the time, and sometimes it's just one after another, and it really makes you just not want to try anymore, especially this YouTube stuff, because I just started editing a video together of what's going to be this commentary I'm going to do again. But it was about 25 minutes of me straight talking about quick scoping. It was really good. I gave a, I did a good job of explaining everything and sharing my opinion about quick scoping and the overall look at it. And I found out my mic was muted, so the whole entire 20 minutes was nothing but silence. So we're gonna redo the commentary now, and let's just get into this. I'm sorry if I sound kind of depressed because I just found out 20 minutes of hard work, of commentary, which is very hard to do straight. Uh, was wasted, so that kind of sucks. But anyway, let's just get into it, and hopefully this doesn't come out terrible. So I want to talk about quick scoping, and there's three things I want to answer, three questions I guess um, that people might have about quick scoping that I want to answer. Three important parts: Why do people like quick scoping? Why do people hate quick scoping? And this question is kind of something that I kind of came up by myself. Could they get rid of quick scoping or even sniping as a whole in Call of Duty and still sell well? And uh, so I'm going to just kind of go through and explain each part. And maybe I'll, I'll get lucky and shorten this commentary up anyway. So the first part is, why do people like sniping? So why people like sniping, quick scoping is uh, one, there's a lot of fanboying that goes on. People see pred, excuse me, pred, um, and, well, any of the optics, well, I shouldn't even say just pred, but any of the optics, Darth Empire now, you know, Zerka, Small Beans. Oh, man, there's a lot. And, you know, Toy Soldier. I don't want to leave anybody out, but there's so many snipers out there. Yeah, there's a lot of guys, but uh, now they see all these snipers and they want to do it because it looks cool and looks. It's just it's the it's the cool thing of the Call of Duty community that people do. That's that's one reason people do it. Another reason people do it uh, it's just because of general interest. You know, it's like you know why do people use you know weird gun setups or something or or whatever? It's just because people are interested in trying to change things up. And sniping is a, a big change from running around with a assault rifle or submachine gun. Um, you know, for the most part, you know. In the end, people do it because they like it. They ha they have fun using sniper rifles. That's the biggest reason. Next to fanboying, um, those are the two big reasons people snipe either because they see other people do it and they want to become part of that, or because people do it and they like it. And they, you know, usually because they saw it and want to become part of it. Um, but most of the snipers that get big and and continuously do it are because they enjoy it. They like it. And uh, from personal experience, you know, it's not only it's you know I like the way the sniper feels in my hands when I'm shooting it. You know, which kind of feels sounds weird because it's not really in my hands, but. I'm using it in the game. I like the way the sniper feels, the way it sounds, the way it looks. It just it feels so different from any of the other guns in the game, any of the gun types, you know, assault and submachine gun. Um, it's just it's a lot different. Um, it's a lot more rewarding to get kills with a sniper rifle, especially quick scoping because it's so uh, it's so much more difficult than using this regular assault rifle. Um, no matter what people say, I know people say my warfare two quick scoping was easier and blah 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 blah, but you know. Modern Warfare 2's quick scoping was easier compared to other sniping, you know, compared to COD 4 or World at War or 
Black Ops quickscoping was, but compared to the guns I had to deal with in that game, quickscoping was balanced. Um, it was the easiest to do in that game, but it was also the easiest to do well in Modern Warfare 2 in general, not just with snipers. It's easier to use any assault rifle in Modern Warfare 2 than it is in any other game. It's easier to use a submachine gun in Modern Warfare 2 than it is in any other game, just like it's easier to use a sniper rifle in Modern Warfare 2 than any other game. It goes the same for everything in Modern Warfare 2. The game was just easy to play. That's the truth. So, just because sniping got a bunch of hate, it's just because a lot of people did it at the time, because that's where trickshotting was the easiest, and the trickshotting community is a pretty good size. So, but like I was saying, a lot of people like it because it's just the way the snipers feel and, and how rewarding it is to do well. That's that's really, that's personally why I do it, and I think that's why a lot of people do it. Um, and some people do it for YouTube because they like montaging and stuff like that. You know, that's the reason people quickscope. It's because it's fun, uh, and it's a nice change of pace, and it's rewarding. The reason people hate quickscoping. There's a couple reasons why. There's uh, one, it's unrealistic. You can't use unrealism, uh, if that's even a word, in Call of Duty because it's Call of Duty isn't realistic to start to a degree. Obviously, the guns are based off of the way they work, the way they look. Um, you know the equipment we use, the way our characters act, and all that stuff. There's a lot of things that are tried to be based off of realism, but Call of Duty is was built and designed to become an arcade, a less realistic shooter, and that happened and was decided by the community. The reason COD is the way it is today is because of us. When Call of Duty 4 came out, we loved it. We loved the arcade style, the perks, the kill streaks, um, the the fast killing guns, the stopping power. You know the way you you know how fast everything moved. We loved it. That's why COD 4 is loved so much to this day, because it was such an amazingly fast-paced arcade shooter. That's why Call of Duty is the way it is, because we loved Call of Duty 4 so much. We hated Call of Duty 3. A lot of people hated it. Um, and the reason why, it was a more tactical battlefield-like shooter. And I've done this comparison before in a previous video. If we had loved Call of Duty 3 instead of Call of Duty 4, if Call of Duty 4 got hate and Call of Duty 3 got love, we would have a more battlefield-like Call of Duty, because they would have gone for the more tactical type of shooter, and Treyarch would be the more you know, uh, the innovator, more or less, of Call of Duty, unlike Infinity Door, which, who is the innovator, who comes up with the big new stuff in Call of Duty. I'm sorry if I'm talking kind of quiet, um, but that's how it is. We, we showed so much love for Call of Duty 4, thus it made the arcade the game, it made the arcade game it is today, and that's why sniping, not, I, I, I believe snip, sniping, snipping, <laughs> sniping needs quick scoping in Call of Duty, because there's really no way for it to keep up otherwise. You know, the situations in which you should use a sniper rifle correctly, are little to none, and in a lot of objective games, it shows it holds almost no value compared to using the SAR rifle. It just is not as effective.